Mysteries are all around and all elusive. The universe in which we live is vast, endless, and contains a myriad of things we've yet to find out. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three extraordinary findings and phenomenons. Earth and other planets seeded with life Scientists around the world dedicate years of their lives in search for answers to life's biggest questions. This is no different for two astrophysicists from Harvard, who have proposed a theory on how life might have spread throughout the cosmos. Though the theory has initially been viewed with skepticism, Amir Siraj and Avi Loeb claim their theory should be taken seriously, and if anything, is too conservative when it comes to calculating how many times life-exporting events from Earth have actually occurred. So, the theory is, back when the solar system was more packed millions or billions of years ago, a gigantic comet came close to the outer reaches of our atmosphere. It was swiftly moving, several miles above the Earth's surface, too high to burn up as a fireball, but low enough that the atmosphere slowed it down. Exceptionally robust microbes were drifting up in its path, and some of those microbes survived the impact of the comet. These microbes ended up concealed deep within the comet's porous exterior, shielded from the radiation of deep space as the comet soared away from Earth and finally out of the solar system entirely. Thousands and millions of years went by before the comet ended up in another solar system with habitable planets. Finally, the comet collided into one of those planets, deposited the microbes, with many of them still living, and set up a new position for earthly life in the cosmos. Whether or not this actually happened is unknown, as there's no solid evidence that proves it. However, the pair of astrophysicists at Harvard claim that the depositing of microbes into a comet, which is then ejected from the solar system, should have happened. And not just once, but a few dozen times throughout the Earth's history. While the theory has been met with skepticism, there's actually good reason to suggest it's possible. In the 1970s, tests were carried out using a series of small rockets, which identified colonies of bacteria in the upper atmosphere. Comets do enter and leave our solar system now and again. A large comet could have grazed the Earth, and while comets are porous, it may have protected the microbes from radiation. Some microbes can also survive for surprisingly long periods in space. Siraj and Loeb suggested this happened multiple times, which may have caused other planets to be seeded with living microbes. One popular theory as to how life started on Earth also involves life being brought here on a comet which crashed into the Earth, kickstarting life as we know it. So our planet may have been seeded, or may have caused others in turn to be seeded. The universe's missing matter problem has finally been solved. Dark matter and dark energy make up many areas of the universe, with the latter making up around 95% of the known cosmos. We are aware that they exist, but we have never been successful in finding them. Galaxies hiding missing matter have now been discovered. It is the first identification of almost 50% of the ordinary matter in this universe, proton, neutron and electron, which had previously been unaccounted for by measurements of stars and galaxies, as well as other brilliant bodies in the cosmos. Two different groups discovered the unknown matter, which is made up of materials called baryonic matter instead of just dark matter, and connects planets via strands of boiling, dense gases. One of the team's leads, Hideki Tanemura, of the Institute of Space Astrophysics in Orsay, France, declares the lost baryon issue is fixed. Anna de Graaf of the University of Edinburgh, United Kingdom, led to the other team. No one had ever been able to see it beforehand since the gas is so faint and not powerful enough for X-ray instruments to detect it. As a result, the two teams needed to come up with yet another means to prove that these gas strands are realistic. Both teams used the sunyev zeldovich impact, which happens whenever light from the gravitational collapse flows across heated gas. Most of the energy bounces off the ions in the gases as it flows, forming a faint spot in the cosmic background radiation, our glimpse of the universe's earliest relics. 
Both groups chose clusters of galaxies from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which were thought to be linked by only a string of baryons. They piled the Planck signal for the regions surrounding galaxies, allowing them to see the particular feeble threads in bulk. Both groups discovered gas filaments connecting the cosmos. Tanimura's team discovered that they were three times denser than that of the universe's average for ordinary matter, and de Graff's team discovered that they were six times denser, indicating that only the gases in these locations are dense enough to produce filaments. This makes a huge difference in proving that several of our theories about how the universe and structures emerge throughout the planet's history are mostly true. Thermal Mystery of the Great Pyramid The Great Pyramid or Great Pyramid of Giza is home to many mysteries. Because of this, many researchers, scientists and archaeologists are constantly examining and studying it. There was a whole series of studies going on, but in 2015, whilst conducting thermal examinations of the Great Pyramid, researchers discovered that three stones located at the bottom of the pyramid were a higher temperature than any of the others. Whilst this discovery itself is truly puzzling, it could be the result of a variety of different factors. From differing air currents inside the pyramid, even more small undiscovered areas, or perhaps an anomalous building material which could indicate repairs or strength carried out thousands of years ago. The team of scientists and researchers came from around the globe to carry out these thermal tests. The tests themselves are just as interesting, as they would examine and carry out testing during different times of the day to test different theories. The morning around sunrise was a specific time the researchers would carry out scans whilst the sun was beaming onto the limestone blocks and heating them up. They would then carry out the same scans but in the evening around sunset once the same limestone blocks were cooling down. They continued these tests until they found the aforementioned anomaly of the three limestone blocks in particular that would display a difference of around 6 degrees compared to the rest of the block, which would at most show a temperature difference of around 0.1 to 0.5 degrees between sunrise and sunset. This difference in temperature is quite puzzling when compared to the minimal difference of the rest. These affected blocks in question were located on the east side of the pyramid. This could well have something to do with why they are anomalies, but for now this remains a mystery. The mysteries and discoveries that we've discussed today really do encompass the world's fascination with the ancient world and the need to understand all its intricacies. The Great Pyramid is always under constant study and research. The pyramid scanning we talked about with the Great Pyramid has also been continued on all of the other major ancient pyramids as unlocking secrets of one could help unlock those of the rest and even help us to understand ancient Egypt as a place even more. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.